bring it on. Um, I'd probably take a Lucky Crab Gunfish 115 for that fall bite. You don't catch a lot of fish on it, but you'll catch big ones in the fall in top water and suspended over deep water. And then I still like my favorite bait is uh, for shallow water fish and those fish, you know, water temperature gets down to the 50s. LV 100 or an LV 500 uh, from a Lucky Craft. The number one tip I can give you, number one thing, you gotta catch them first. Time on the water is the number one key to success to be able to catch them. And when you can become good at catching them, then you gotta get out there and test your skills against the competitions. My PB on a bass, 12 pounds even. I believe I've caught 26 over 10, but I can't break 12. Oh, one lure the rest of my life. Oh, I, uh, if I, I mean, I know the one bait that I go through more than anything would be a pit boss, Berkeley pit boss that I designed. Uh, I can swim it, I can flip it, I can fish it on a jig trailer, wobble head, however you want to fish it, you can fish a pit boss. You know, obviously, you're, you're thinking about seasonal patterns. Okay, what time of year it is, what, uh, what should the fish be doing? Um, then I'm gonna do uh, a lot of map studying. So uh, I've got the Lawrence app, so I'm constantly looking at the app and mapping where I might be able to you know, go find the bite I'm looking for, looking at contours, this point, that point, that pocket. Uh, so a lot of map study, Google Earth. I use a seven foot, four inch, fast taper rod. So uh, it's not something that's got a parabolic run. It's got a softer tip, just kind of, so that it's better for target casting. You don't want a real stiff tip for it, for me, because I want to, when I cast, I do a roll cast, side cast. I want that rod tip to load up and I can be a lot more accurate in the casting. So I want to put it just in a little small spot like that. I'm more accurate with a little softer rod than I am with like a seven, six heavy action rod. Well, we actually do have two kayaks at home. They're not like the, the fishing kayaks that these guys are fishing out of now. They're all decked out. They're just, they're 14 foot, just green, bright, lime green, <laughs> two seaters and uh, we take them camping. And uh, so when I'm, we're camping and they go on the roof of a truck and we will fish for you know bass or whatever we can catch off them. But the kayak scene is definitely the it's one of the fastest growing segments in our sport in the last 10 years. Um, it's a great way for people to be able to get out and fish, get on the water, be able to go several miles uh, without having the expense of a full blown bass boat. So uh, now the kayak tournaments are getting big. You're getting a couple hundred kayaks in a tournament. These guys are hardcore. Uh, there's some great anglers coming up through the ranks of kayak fishing right now. I know that. And hopefully someday they're gonna be in a full blown bass boat competing against against us on the tour.